Hey BBs, it's Plastic, and today I'm back with y'all for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing really, really, really fierce. I know this is kind of a weird way to start a video off, to be honest. It's like a mirror kind of video, but I f just took a shower recently, and I feel like kind of ugly. Not ugly, but like I just don't have my lashes on, and I didn't have any makeup on, but I wanted to film this video because I wanted to rearrange my room. If y'all can already see, the room is looking kind of bummy just from the mirror, but um, this is just like... Uh, the intro this will be a temporary intro um unless i like, i'd go tomorrow because like this is gonna take a couple days to film usually these type of videos but the point of this video is to clean my room and get my generation 3 monster Eye display ready for halloween because um right now i cleaned it like a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago i th or whenever i posted my last videos a couple weeks ago i think and i cleaned up my monster Eye display and i rearranged like for the halloween shelves but i feel like they just weren't like, they're good, like, it's fine, but since then, I've gotten way more into G3 than I thought I would, um, so I just want to kind of, like, rearrange that just to kind of fit my G3 standardness, and I also got a couple monster, I got a lot of G3 dolls, number one, and I have some more G1 dolls, just being Vampire Heart Draculaura, so the other day, I think it was, maybe a couple days ago, I also rearranged my room a little bit, so I want to show you guys that before I mess it up again, and I also just want to show you guys how I'm going to rearrange it before Halloween, because I am filming a G3 um, collection video at the end of the month. It'll probably be posted for Halloween. Sneak peek into that because I'm really excited about it. I've been thinking about it nonstop and I'm just so excited about it, but I want to get them all ready for that video and I just want to get my room ready for the actual Halloween day. So without further ado, let's show what's the mess and that's how we're going to fix it. So here we have like the start of the problem. This is where I've just been dumping all the dolls that I like to play with recently. And meaning that, I mean every doll. So I've been really into the Generation 3 dolls, like, heavily recently. Like, ever since, like, the Nickelodeon show, like, every time I go to the watch the new Nickelodeon show, um, and they've been airing the episodes, like, weekly, I've been taking the dolls from, like, the episode, and I've taken them down to my living room, and we watch the movie together. And with that, the shelves have not looked good. So, um, we're just gonna, they just kind of got dumped here. There's some dolls, like, Kylie dolls that I've been playing with. Um, some Snowlicious I was playing with her later or earlier. This couch, like, I was filming a couple videos. Like, there's just a lot that kind of goes around, on around this area. And then definitely, again, the dolls that I really, really love and I definitely play with a lot. And I still want to keep this as, like, an active display. That's what I want to call it, maybe. I don't know if that's been termed yet or anything by anybody else. But, like, a display where, like, I can, like, have dolls that I play with and, like, bring around with me. And, like, they can just be sat back there. But I want to make less of it like i just don't think we need this many play dolls out right now and i just want to kind of get them again organized and cleaned frankie's falling over the restyle ghouls are falling over like again it's been a big intro another kind of issue that i want to deal with in this video um which we'll get into in a couple minutes is kind of rearranging this a little bit because i already moved my ever after high dolls from here to like um the back of my story or my back of my monster display i want to get ghoulia scooter off because i don't really look at it that much it's kind of just there and it's been there for years like i just want to put that in storage and like leave ghoulia um, and then there's just more, just more things. dolls and things that just need to be cleaned up that I just have not yet. <laughs> also, I really, really want to open these dolls, but I feel like I do it for a video, but I got the rest of the fashion show dolls. So, but I'll maybe like tomorrow I'll film this video and then I'll have the dolls out of box. So then we can put them away also in this video, maybe like later on, not tonight or anything, but I'm excited about that. And I also have my inbox Twyla because I was debating on if I was going to open her or not. And I just, it was like, I'm not going to open her, but I should probably put her away in this video as well. And then here is the current state of the Generation 3 shelf. Um, my plan is actually what to do with this. This is the um, the Vanity from the Frights from Action movie. I want to move that to where Gulia Scooter is, maybe. I, that was just like my thought. I was at work today. I was like doing my salon things. And I was like, you know what would be really, really good? If this was just all G3. Sorry, I put the flash on, but we have the Vanity, Vanity playset behind Honey Swamp, and we have the red carpet or the black carpet kind of event as well. And I think that could definitely, again, fit on over there, if y'all can see past my big light. Um, if I just move Ghoulia Scooter out of the way and I move Ghoul's Night Out to, like, behind these dolls. Again, I didn't show this because I did this off camera, like, after school one day. Um, and I was, like, just feeling it around because I needed space for my Draculaura vampire heart doll and I, again i'm sorry this is like a really heavy intro but like she just needed like a lot of space so like i had to move things around and i was just kind of doing it on my own but i'm gonna put dolls behind this collector dolls um and i also moved my fright or, or my real drama dolls like i moved a lot um i feel bad i kind of wish i updated y'all but i'll move like some like the um like these dolls behind them and i'll move scaris to be over here and ghoul's night out to be over here so then i have just room for generation three on both these shelves so without further ado, let's get into the time lapse 
and I'll probably also be on call with some of my friends. So if y'all see me like talking to myself, it's not me, it's people on the actual phone. So I promise y'all I'm not insane yet. So it's been a minute since we've updated any of the video. I honestly forgot about this video because school and life and whatever. But off recording, I think I did a time lapse and then I clocked it for the night. But I wanted to show you guys what I did after, I think, my time lapse. Because I moved the, uh, what is this called? This is the Fright Scream Action Display from all the way over here to all the way over here and i put the vanity up there and i put laguna and cleo talking because like they're just the budget dolls and i really wanted to have a main focus on the new characters and then operetta and then the headless horseman was still or miss headless blood good whatever her name is she's still popping up there i moved her there a couple weeks ago as well um but i really again wanted to focus on the main characters i might move honey over here though because i feel like her hair kind of gets in the way of claudia but I feel like Viperine kind of looks good next to the vanity. Um, but I don't know. I kind of actually like Honey there. But I feel like Claudia is just, like, way back. You know, I feel like she needs to be brought up a little bit. But I also don't have any of her accessories. All the other ghouls have, like, their accessories. I also gave Serena Von Boo a stand. Um, and then I don't think anything happened over here. I did get this doll, this diva, stitched in style Frankie Stein um, throughout the last time lapse. And they are stellar. But I have no idea where I'm going to put them. I just want to, like, leave them here because, like, look at that mug. Like, it's so good, y'all. Check out my review if you have not. I did a whole review on that diva. And then the dolls are still there. Yeah, I really like this display. But then over here, we did... Uh, my closet door is just always open. I did not move any of the G3 dolls over besides some that I just kind of had, you know, thrown over here. Here are some Ever After High dolls. They're just kind of here because I don't really, like... I'm not into them right now. They're just kind of, like, whatever. My poor Ever After High dolls. I used to love them, though. I still love them. Just not as much as I love G3. But I have... I don't know what I'm gonna do, so I'm trying to plan this out right now. I have I just threw the scooter here. This is gonna go in my closet probably. But um I have my thoughts for this area, because I can't I tried to move this in the time lapse up to here, but it just like didn't really work out because like the risers for, for the after high dolls are kind of like taking up a lot of space and like this needs as much space as it can get. And it only really fits on this shelf. This shelf is just a little bit shorter, so it doesn't really fit the bed. But I was thinking maybe I could do like both the playsets down here. So I could do like the student lounge playset in this little corner and then I could do signatures, and then monster ball, and then this could be like extra stuff, or maybe fear descent up here. I don't know, um, but I wanted to maybe put like some like the ghoul spirit dolls playing with the student lounge down here, you know, or maybe the student lounge can be up here and we can have some extra dolls. So it could be like playset, playset, and then like dolls. We'll have to see what happens when I do the time lapse. But I just want to show you guys how I'm feeling, um, and then we just have some dolls here, and then for the monster high G one stuff, um, some dolls are again taken out because I had to. Um, I don't even know that Frank they went, to be honest. I think they were just on the floor. Um, I took some dolls down for, like, my Frank Frankie review, so I have to, like, put Guglia back up. I took some dolls back here. Um, but this pretty much stays the same, usually. I think what I did change, though, was the, um, behind this is, like, the, the Dot Dead Gorgeous dolls. And then I have Scares over here now, which is kind of sad, because I like Scares being all on display. But just, you know, to make more room for G3... Um, I think it's okay that Scarus is kind of here. I put, again, the new character is here. I put Claudine in the Cleo pack. So my favorites from Scarus are definitely out, still on display. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what changed right I now. I don't why I'm out of breath, but, like, there's, it's just a lot. Like, I don't even know what I changed, to be honest, because, again, it was a couple days ago when I did all this, and I got distracted super easily from friends. But, um, yeah, they look pretty much. I just gotta fix this area, fix Gulia. um... But, like, look at how good this doll looks. Like, this is Vampire Heart Draculaura. Y'all, I think I showed this doll already. But she's so pretty. I can't stop thinking about her. But I might put the new Frankie Stein up here, maybe. I don't know. I don't think there's gonna be enough room. Since we're still talking about Frankie Stein dolls, I never had any space for my Midnight Runway Frankie. So they've just kind of lived in the Rainbow High House along with some other G3 dolls that are currently homeless. Um, but I was gonna put them up here. But I don't want to put... I took Scalita down because I was watching the episode right now. But I don't want, like, Stitched in Style Frankie to be next to Holiday Claudine. Because I feel like Claudine has yet to get her Holiday or her Collector doll. Like, her good Collector doll. So I don't want her to be, like, the Collector doll. But 
I don't know what to do because I also have my creep reductions here, which kind of got moved. So I don't know if I should just like shove my creep reductions away and like you just put some more special edition dolls up here. We're gonna figure if it out. If not, now. this doll is just gonna live on my desk. I don't like just so pretty. I feel like it's gonna be hard to like put them on a shelf because I just wanna look at them forever. But let's stop talking and let's actually put some of the G3 dolls away because I'm kind of sick of them having all over my. They just like, explode and they just don't have any spot to be. So I'm gonna put them away. Okay, so this video is kind of done. We finished what I had to finish, and I'm ready to show y'all all the things that we changed up today, or I guess over the past couple days, but for y'all, it's been like 10 minutes, so whatever. I do want to say quickly, though, that before we finish today's video, I never finished unboxing, or even started to unbox the fashion show dolls, so they don't have a spot. They, have again, are just sitting there. So I'll try to open these tomorrow, maybe, if I feel like it, um... But I don't know. I do want to open them. It's not that I'm like dissing them or anything, but I just haven't had like the time because it's like three dolls, like three dolls to open. And I'm just like, <sighs> you know, but um, we did do some other things today, which we got to get excited for. So I'm going to wrap this part up and we're going to show y'all because it was cool. And I also partly want to get this video done so I can take them all down again. But I'll explain that to you guys that in just a second. I'm going to start here because that's kind of where I was. Um, I left the fr uh, Frights from Actions like exactly like I did in the last part that I showed you guys, but I added the velvet rope because it fell under my bed, but I found it. I think it fell under my bed, but it's back up there. So my whole fr Frights from Action display is up there. And then I did have to move um, the Scooter Gulia over here and then Freaky Chic or no. Uh, what's that line? Freaky Fusion is kind of just shoved back up there, but I gave Serena Von Boo a stand. So we're making progress, Ma. Also, when I was doing my like, Halloween October rotation, I never showed, or I never actually did this. I did this just now in today's video off camera, but I gave some spotlights to some of my spooky OMG dolls because Chillax is, you know, ready to watch a horror movie. Gamma Babe, they are like a little costumey, like break free Ariana Grande moment. This is an OMG doll who is supposed to be spooky. I think her name is Vault Queen or... Vault Queen, someone else. This is Spooky Bay. I don't know who this is. But we have Shadow here, who's also a very iconic OMG doll, who is very spooky licious ma. And then, oh god, like just a mess. Oh my god. And then we have Cosmic Nova, who is very Lady Gaga, like very space cowboy, boom boom. But um, I feel like she kind of gives like Halloween trick or treater with like the little, I don't know. I just want to look at her and I miss looking at her because I opened her and then I shoved her behind the shelf and she's really, really cool. And then Lady Diva is like a doll that I always need on display. She's like one of my favorite OMG dolls ever. So she always gets to like stay here, but this changes and these kind of all stayed the same. I did move this one. So she's here now. I just didn't put her on like, I don't have space really, like literally no space for her, but they're just going to go here because I don't care. Another doll line that I didn't move during my Halloween rotation because I was really, again, focused on the Monster High dolls was the Bratz dolls. And all I did for this was push Pride back and, like, move Wild Wild West Fiona back because I wanted to give some spotlight to my Rock Angels dolls. And yes, these dolls are very controversial, and I know that, but this is an original Jade um, who I bought on Makari. And she has the original clothes, but the jacket and, like, the new, um, like, guitar and the new stand. And these ones are reproductions, and they are a little bit funky looking, but... Um, this one's sentimental to me, um, and then this one I got on um, Makari, and she's a little bit prettier than the other one that I had, and then this one's not as, it's, she's, she's not the original, you know, but I wanted to kind of honor them in the way of it's been two years since this release, and they were some of my favorite Bratz dolls when I was first collecting, so I'm just happy to have them, and they remind me a lot of October. Like, I even kept all their QR codes, but, like, I just remember being, like, on, like, the school bus, like, in my junior year of high school, like, going to, like, my, um, tech school from, like, my regular school, and I was listening to the Bratz Rock Angels album 
all of that December. So December 2021, all I had in my Apple Music was the Bratz Rock Angels album. And for that, they remind me a lot of, again, October. I remember the day. I remember the exact day on Doll Twitter, on Doll Instagram, when these reproductions launched. And that will be a day that forever stays in my mind. So I just want to honor them again. And I really, really love these. I know they're kind of ugly and they're kind of stupid and they're kind of whatever. But a part of me has a really big soft spot for the reproduction. So that's my reproduction collection. I also have uh, the other one, the gay one. She's there, but I don't really, like, whatever. Um, and then Pretty and Punk kind of stayed because, like, they're very kind of Halloween-y. I want to get Megan, though. I want to get Megan for my birthday. My birthday is on October 8th. So I might ask my parents for her because um, I want to get her reproduction just for the clothes, though, because I have the original. And her original's a lot prettier. Um, and then Bratz pretty much stay the same. Um, I did, I had her out for something else. I know I didn't show this in my Halloween rotation, but I also moved quickly, just like recently, the Halloween Rainbow High dolls to the front of the house. And I also put in some other dolls. So it's it's getting creepy over here i feel like i'm talking forever but um we have the g3 dolls who kind of got moved these are the ones that stayed on my um my what is this, dresser and they stayed here we have the budget ones we have the restyled ones we have those two <laughs> poor laguna it's always laguna um and then we kept over here mainly Skultimate Secrets Series 1. I have those. And I also wanted to keep a tour light on here to be next to Claudine because I love Tordine. It's like one of my favorite ships right now. Maybe in a year that'll change, but I love them together. They're so cutesy patootsy. Um, and I also kept the Fabulous Pets dolls because I also really, really like the idea of them being at the Coffin Bean because like, you know, they at the mall, they're going out. I, I put the pets away in storage, y'all. I can't deal with the pets. And I also like the idea of like Coffin Bean Frankie like hanging out with Fabulous Pets Cleo. It just makes sense in my brain because, like, they're both, like, one-off dolls and they feel very casual. I also left my core Claudine, my extra Hairplay Laguna, my extra Monster Ball Claudine, and my extra this Fabulous Pets Cleo to kind of be my play dolls. And I really like this part of my display because these are the dolls that I really take out with me. Like, when I like, want to go out, like, you know, when I go down to the dinner, I just, like, grab a doll and, like, we go to dinner and we hang out. And, you know, like, these are, like, my emotional dolls in a way. So I feel kind of bad that like a lot of my G3 dolls are back on the shelves now because I really, really like them being here. So probably after this video is done, I'm going to take them all down, but I still have to show y'all before I take them all down again. And then also I never gave the Frankie Stein from Stitch and Style a home because I just keep playing with them. Like it's just like one of my favorite Frankie Stein dolls and I like to like just la la la. And then I also, as I was like getting this video ready, I broke um the Vampire Heart Draculaura stand. So, um... Like, this stand is broken, and I just put, like, some super glue on it, trying to make sure it, like, just stays together. St stays together, oh my gosh. Um, because I put Dracula on there too hard, and it just snapped from this part, which you cannot see because it's not going to focus. But it's, there's glue on it. So this diva is using Frankie Stein's stand at the moment because this doll actually needs a saddle stand, and this one does not need a saddle stand. They can just kind of stay on the AliExpress stand, which is fine because like, I don't really care that much. Like this doll is like a play doll to me at this moment. So that's fine. And again, G1 pretty much stayed the same from the last time I updated y'all. I guess I put those dolls back, but uh, pretty much the same. The real T though is Miss G3. I don't want to get too involved in this whole display because I plan on for October doing it my G3 collection video, so stay tuned for that, y'all, because I'll be filming that soon, probably, like, this weekend, but for now, I just want to give y'all an overview, kind of glance. I actually did move the creepover bed from here to there because I thought it kind of fit better, and even though there's, like, empty space in here, I wouldn't really, like, have any benefit of using that space because it's so far back and it's so dark that I kind of like the bed here. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, we have some dolls kind of creeping back in there. We have Feardescent here. We have the Core Dolls. We have everybody boot up but Laguna. Bam! I need you to get a Gill doll out as soon as possible, Miss Mattel. Like, my poor Laguna is just, like, so lonely. Like, she just needs her, like, little man. And, like, we'll be fine. And then boot up, boot up, boot up. Oh, they're they're single, too, but who cares? We also have Scared Ice kind of here. Um, and then these ones. And, like, I had to add Fancy Laguna because, like, the they're both, like, formal-esque dolls, you know? And I'm waiting for the moment that the Hisfits pack gets released so I can put them here, okay? They will be here in this little display place. Just need to wait for them. I know your girlfriend will be here soon. Gotta wait it out, Ma. But that was my quick little reorganization for today and today's video. Um, I know it wasn't, like, the best. It wasn't, like, the most gag-worthy kind of, like, 
you know, re rotation, but um, it was definitely something that I wanted to be kind of a thing in the way that I wanted my G3 dolls to have a spot. But also what I meant by that earlier in this clip was that like, I'm upset that my G3 dolls are on the shelves because when they were just kind of like thrown around my room, because like for the most of October, they were just kind of like thrown around my room. Like they were on my desk. They were obviously, y'all saw, they're on my, sh like that part of my dresser. Um, and I kind of like the idea of them being there because they were all there. Like most of my G3 dolls were just there. So I could, I could like play with them whenever I wanted to. I can like look at them and they're just more easy accessible. Cause I feel like when they're on my shelves, especially like the top shelf, I just don't like play with them. You know what I mean? Like they're obviously, I collect dolls so I can have them on display. Like I know that, but part of me just likes to like bring them around and like play with their hair and like, you know, do the doll stuff. So I don't know. Um, so I'll probably... Once I film my collection video, which should be out in the coming days when you're seeing this, stay tuned for that because I'm really, really, really excited about it. Um, I just, I want to play with them. I just want to, like, touch them all the time. And I really want, like, my ideal situation is, like, just my, like, I want, like, a shelf, like, one day over here, here. Maybe not one day, but, like, oh, God, I stepped on my heater. Um, but, like, could you imagine, like, the G3 dolls, like, instead of the Rainbow High House, which I have no idea where I'd want to put the Rainbow High House instead, which probably wouldn't be possible. Yeah, I don't think there's any other place for the Rainbow High House, but, like, in an ideal world, there's just a shelf here for G3, and I can just, like, play with them whenever I want, because, like, it's perfect, like, play height, you know? But yeah, I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. But thank you guys that was so beyond much for watching today's video with me. Um, today was, again, a fun one, a silly one, and a whatever one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, though. Again, so beyond much for watching. It was so much fun with you guys. And I can't wait to catch y'all, though, in the next one. Love you all endlessly, and I'll see you very, very soon. Love ya. Bye. Bye, everybody.